Hey YouTube, Kayak DIY, and right now we're going to go over how you can make this very awesome Scotty Mount camera pole. So this here would be what you would have mounted on your kayak. Some of you already have these. This one just so happens to be the locking one. So this is the 241L mount, but most of you will likely have the 241 mount possibly already on your kayak for rod holders. Well, this pole will mount into the same Scotty mount. Now this pole setup here was made from a monopod. So basically we removed two parts from the monopod. We removed this end that looks just like this. It had a threaded end. This is what the camera originally would have mounted to. And it was on this end. And then we had this piece right here. This piece right here was mounted right there. That silver piece that you see right there, that's part of the ram ball. And that was not there. Here's a look at the ram ball. This piece was in there and secured with like an adhesive glue. So, right up here, we'll start on this end here. This was actually right up against there. This piece was not here. There is a hole actually in this black ring here, which is original to the monopod. And this was inside there. We then took a vice grips and we attached it to right on this pointy end here and we pulled this piece out and then we were left with a hole on this side. A hole that became very important for mounting the ram ball. This is the one inch ram ball here that's linked in the video description below. It comes with a threaded rod which is around two inches long or so. This is a look at the three ram ball components that replace the spike. That threaded rod is inside this tube here. Now, there's a couple ways that you could actually mount that threaded rod into this tube. What we did is, we waited until we were able to take off this end. So, underneath this foam, when you slid this foam, and this foam actually was covering these screws. You would slide this foam up on the original monopod when you bought it, and you would have seen these screws here, and you loosen up these screws, and once you did, you were able to then pull this piece out of this end. And then what you see right here and here and here, all these are, are Scotty gearheads. And what they look like is they look like this. So this end is actually inside here. In fact, this end here went into the same spot that this end did, basically. So we just put that right in the end there, and then we drilled, re-drilled the holes when the Scotty gearhead was in there, and then we put the screws right back in after we put some epoxy around here, and that held it into that end. And then all we had to do was get another one of these gearheads, and the gearheads just fit together, and then this is a Scotty knob, actually. So. It's the same knob that they use on pretty much all their gearhead uh, mounts. So those just hold the two gearheads together and allow you to adjust the angle in which you place the camera pole into the mount. Then going up to this side, what we did is we actually ended up for this ram ball, what we did, you wouldn't have to necessarily do this, but for this ram ball, you could just take the threaded rod, put a good amount of JB weld and stuff around it, and then push it into the the end here where the hole is that that made up this piece. You could just push that, that ram ball right in there, and the threaded rod would probably hold tight. But what we did is we actually shaved down some some actual nuts that threaded onto the, the one quarter inch uh, piece that was inside this ram ball. 
we ended up threading down or uh, sanding down some nuts and then we took the threaded rod without the ram ball and we actually dropped it all the way through the center of here when this wasn't on here so this was just a so uh, hollow tube and we dropped the threaded rod all the way through and it ended up coming out this end and what we did is inside here are some nuts and then there's the threaded rod and then it attaches to the ram ball and what those nuts do is they prevent the ram ball from ever being able to just come off so it won't be able to just pull out of that hole that existing hole because the the sanded down nuts that are inside here would hold it from going through that hole then basically you just have a ram ball socket and the gopro ram ball and that is what allows us to be able to get a wide range of flexibility from our GoPro. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and like, subscribe, and share.